again. It has been a time. <laughs> a longer time than I had originally ever imagined. So I thought I'd do a little state of the channel life update, get ready with me, as well as reflecting on 2022 and plans for 2023. <laughs> So first and foremost, and I know I should be like, stick around till the end so you can hear my life update and keep on watching, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I just, I just need to talk about what I've been up to and what's been going on. So about two months ago, I got the call from our landlords that they want to sell our place. At first, this was like very, very upsetting to me. I just wasn't expecting it, even though I should have. There's all these new rules about rented accommodation in the UK, and it's gonna be very expensive for landlords. But obviously that threw me for a very, very big loop. <laughs> Frustratingly, or I guess this is just the way the universe is, isn't it? I got that news on the very same day that I got the news that I achieved my indefinite leave to remain in the UK, which means I can be here forever now unless I leave the country for like two full years, huge weight off my shoulders, um, which I got to enjoy for approximately five hours. And then I got the call that they're selling this place. The, so the universe was like, all right, on to the next thing. So obviously landlords sell in the place, need a new place to live. <laughs> the place where I live in the last two years, probably because of COVID and uh, so many people working from home, so many people are moving to the town that I live in, which like I, <laughs> I can't complain that much because I am also a blow in. I am not a Devon native, believe it or not. <laughs> But like, I've been here for five years. I was here first. But they're just, they're straight up is like no rental accommodation available. Certainly not any affordable. But I think the point really is like not any. <laughs> Last time I looked, there was exactly one property available for rent. And they don't accept cats. Uh, so, you know, I would rather die than go anywhere without my cat Moira. So with the lack of rental options, it sort of pushed forward our timeline to buy a house. If any of you have bought a house before, um, especially your first house, like it is for me, it is uh, very, very stressful and intense. So the answer to where am I? What have I been doing? It has been trying to buy a house. <laughs> In total, we made an offer on four houses. Obviously got, got the one that we are trying to purchase. Um, got our offer accepted on the one that we're trying to purchase. I keep on saying trying because I'll be holding my breath until it's done because there's so many moving parts, but there's paperwork to do every single day. It takes up all mental space in your life. <laughs> And I've been working more to be in a better position to qualify for a mortgage. So many boring adult things, which are explaining why I haven't been able to film. On top of it all, I have just started a new job. For the last five years, I've worked, well, five years and three months, I have worked for a local small business. I got that job literally one week after moving to Devon from London. And I've been so thankful for this job, the way that it's helped me land in Devon, both financially, in community. Sorry, I'm just getting flashbacks for the last time I tried to record and it turns out my microphone wasn't plugged in, but, <laughs> but it is, <sighs> but it is. And I'm so thankful for everything that it has meant to work. There. It's also my first time working for a small business, like less than 10 employees. Sometimes during COVID lockdowns, it was five of us. It was my first time working for a small business like that. So leaving after five years, I knew was not only going to be a very big deal for me personally, emotionally, but was going to be a big deal and going to be a big period of adjustment for the small business. And the excitement and horror of starting a new job. Once again, being cast into the uncertain waters of a new situation. You have imposter syndrome of, oh my gosh, they I don't know what I'm doing. Will they like me? Will it be the right place for me? 
have I just made a huge mistake? I'm like a week and a half into the new job now and so far so good. So those feelings have dissipated a little bit. It's been a lot of life happening in Q4 2022. Oh, hello, my little lady. Coming to say hello. With the house move stuff, I keep on being like, you don't know it's how crazy it's about to be for cats. <laughs> it's going to be so unexpected. You're not gonna know what's happening. You're gonna be in a new place, but it's gonna be so good for cats. And maybe, and she doesn't know it yet, but maybe she will get a little brother or sister cat in the new place as we won't be um, beholden to the landlord's rule of one cat. 2022 as a whole was a lot more difficult for me personally than 2020 and 2021. Obviously those previous two years, we had lockdowns going on, uh, a lot of fear and uncertainty in the world. There's still plenty of that, but I really functioned well in a world where there were so many clearly defined rules, uh, clearly defined societal rules. It's like, okay, you can't see each other at this time or now six of you can meet up for x amount of time so it was really clear to me what the divide of like my work life was what my social life was and then how much time i had to devote to my own projects like youtube and things like that so it was very easy for me to know when i had time to devote to my projects and i had a lot more time to devote to my own stuff which i really loved <laughs> man living a life gets <sighs> sorry i just have so much freaking cat hair in my face i don't know why you're shedding so much moira it's literally january but my nose is so itchy full of cat hair but I do kind of miss the time where all I had to do after work was come home and work on a video for you guys. It just makes me stand even firmer in my belief. And this is a controversial take. <laughs> I hate sleeping. I hate it. I want to be awake all the time. <laughs> I want to be awake 100% of the time doing all the stuff that I want to do. I want to have time for everything. <laughs> But as I get older, I just realize I do not have time for all the stuff that I want to do. Not just the big plans, but, but I have so many hobbies and I want to do them all. And I want to make YouTube videos and make my dance films and go to work and spend time with my friends and learn different languages and etc, etc. And I just don't have time for all of it. <laughs> so I find myself grasping for the period where I did have more time to explore all those things that I'm interested in. <sighs> Life's complicated, eh? You know, I'm going to try something I never do. I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist, nor do I claim to be one. But because I'm wearing this beautiful blue outfit, I think I'm going to try Famous Last Words, some blue eyeshadow today. Let's try, let's try some of this darker stuff. <gasps> no, I don't think this is. I really want to be a blue eyeshadow girly, but I do not think I have the skill to to do so. Let's try to save this with some mauve. I guess now we'll talk about um, goals for 2023. I do like this idea. Let me, oh, I was gonna check on my phone, but I'm recording on my phone on my Discord, which link in the description if you'd like to join my Discord channel. I believe it was Kristen on the Discord who mentioned instead of resolutions or goals to think I want to do more of, the same of, or less of certain things. Also random, but these um, L'Oreal matte lip crayons smell exactly like the marshmallows in Lucky Charms. 
All right, so in 2023, something I want to do more of specifically is I need to get back into dance, <laughs> into dancing. If you're new to this channel or if you mainly just watch my fashion content, then you might not know that I have a dance background, but like all performing <laughs> arts during COVID, I stopped doing that. And then I started my YouTube channel and my focus for all my extra time really honed in on YouTube, making YouTube videos. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my first time setting my hair after cutting it so short. So this is going to be a journey. But I'm at the point now after so many life changes that I really need to get back into dancing for the soul because anytime I see a performance or even watched videos of like really compelling artistic performances, I can't watch any live performance-y thing without crying. Uh, so I think that's told me it's time to get back into dancing and if not performing, then at least uh, making some video dance stuff again. Obviously I don't live in London anymore. It's never gonna be the same kind of experience, but I need to do something and whether I've been looking into um, like aerial arts studios to get my foot back into that world um, because it's been a part of my life for the last 20 something years. Maybe another go goal will be going into dog shows as I look like a very fancy show poodle. Or I look like, now this is gonna be an extra deep cut. I look like the uh, sheep that Virginia has in the Bo Peep village in the 10th kingdom, which is a early noughties fantasy TV show um, that I was obsessed with. So yeah, I'm really giving Virginia's sheep after she dips it into the magic wishing well to get a beautiful lamb for the beautiful sheep and shepherdess competition. Always wanted her outfit in this scene, but now at least I can be her sheep. What were we talking about again? <laughs> I think that is as good as it's gonna get today. And I will have to, um, I will have to rethink my setting pattern going forward. I haven't had hair this short since 2019, so I am out of practice. So besides dance and YouTube, what else do I wanna focus on this year? I really want to get my UK driving license. My new house is going to be slightly more rural than my current place. And I like spending a lot of time by myself and having my space, but I want the option to leave as and when I would like it. And that also means I can take you guys on some more adventures in the area, take you to places that I haven't been able to before, and I think will just improve my life uh, in, in a lot of ways. <laughs> but that's not all. I want to hear about what you have planned for 2023 as well. Are you going in with a lot of goals or are you just trying to take it easy and be gentle with yourself? I oscillate between the two. I want to be chill, but I don't know that I have it in me. <laughs> that was 2022. This is 2023 and I'm happy to be here on your screens. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you could like it. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. I upload new videos <laughs> uh, on Fridays. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.